Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. On this video, we are covering CCNA semester 2, Routing and Switching Essentials. This is chapter 5 and is section 5.2, Troubleshooting, inter VLAN Routing. Upon completion of this section, you should be able to troubleshoot common inter VLAN configuration issues, troubleshoot common IP addressing issues in an inter VLAN routed environment. So, for example, if you have a look at this, I'm not going to show you, like you can pause the videos and try and troubleshoot, see what you think is a problem. Okay, this interface here is a VLAN 10, great. This interface is on VLAN 10, and this one is, sorry, VLAN 30, and this interface is on VLAN 30. So these two can communicate. This PC cannot communicate to the gateway because this VLAN is on the default VLAN, VLAN 1, for example. So we change it to VLAN 10 and that PC can communicate. This is uh, inter VLAN routing a legacy method. So you go to port FA04 and say switch port access VLAN 10. Right, problem number two. Pause the video and have a look. Okay, well here the problem could be that this again is going on default VLAN because it's inter VLAN routing so this interface here has to be a trunk so the command is FA05 switchboard mode trunk. Another problem, have a look. Okay, we can see the big X there, that should give you a clue. Okay, that interface has to be a trunk between the two switches. And the command you go to the interface and say switchboard mode trunk. Problem number four, again, have a look, pause the video try and find out the, the problem here okay if you found it great now this is legacy inter VLAN routing again each root each interface on the router has or VLAN um, the problem here for example there's no problem on this side so 172 17 30 30 the problem here is between these two 172 17 10 and in the router is 172 17 100 so that's wrong so we have to change it to 10 uh, go to the interface G00 change IP address problem number five if you look for example what do you think is a problem okay it's in red maybe it shouldn't be in the red so 20 here and 10 so that they don't match on the correct subnet so obviously they're not going to be able to communicate so we fix it uh, next problem is problem number six if you look so for example here forward slash 16 that's forward slash 255 and it's different to our forward slash 24 so that's the problem so we need to go to the pc and change the ip address thank you very much for watching this section 5.2 troubleshooting inter vlan routing and please have a look at, uh, at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe this has been Asri Krasnici and next video 5.3 layer 3 switching bye bye